If you want to see how we got such a glossy, high gloss finish on this BMW, on the roof and hood, then uh, sit tight. We use this spray can, well, three of these spray cans, and I'll show you how we did that. I will be using the Ultimate High Gloss. This is what it looks like. Definitely shiny, has a really good uh, coat of paint on it. I just figured I'd show you what it looks like before we get started. Oh, he's taking the grill and uh, center badge off. I wanted to show you why we are redoing this. It's not, we're not just going and ruining a perfect paint job. Um, so I'll get over there and show you. All right, as you can see through the hood, there's a bunch of chips um, where the paint has peeled. There's definitely some rock chips up front where there's rust starting. Well, not really, you know, just surface rust, nothing crazy. And the roof got pretty bad clear coat peel through there. He's repainting the whole thing next summer. So this is just a temporary, the black on the roof and the hood and, um, also, the engine does need to stay cool, um, or the hood, when it's warm to the touch, which this one's pretty cold, it's been sitting outside in 40 degree weather. So it's pretty cool. Uh, if it's hot, you'll get the tiger stripes, and I'll go through more in detail on that here in a minute. So we're gonna get started washing it, and then we'll go from there. All right, now that we got the wax removed, um, wash it down. There's still gonna be water in spots, so you need to get a blow nozzle and an air hose or just pay really close attention to all the cracks because there could be water left in it. You don't want that getting on fresh paint. So guys, in the in the comments, should we do the wheels white or should we do them black? What do you guys think? Kind of mixed fillings on both or should we just freshen them up because there's some road rash and leave them silver? Put that in the comments below guys. We're gonna take some 320 we're gonna knock all this down, get it all smooth around there. And uh, I do have the mask. This one is spray paint um, protectant. So it's not like a super high quality one, but it, it'll work for what this is used for. So we'll get started doing that.
Okay, so at this point, there are waves in it from where the clear blends with the rest of the paint. So there is a way around this. You can wet sand it with some soapy water just to kind of feather it all in, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, now that it's been wet sanded, everything's smoothed out pretty good. I'm gonna wipe it down. I'm gonna hit the exposed metal with some uh, self-etching primer. And then after that's done, we'll spray everything off and uh, get ready for paint. Since there are spots like around here, there's we tried to wet sand it and feather it the best we can. So we're gonna see how it turns out. This is thicker paint, so it might work well. Um, but with typically when shooting black, it's one of the hardest colors to shoot due to the fact that you see everything. So there might be spots that kind of look like waves, but we're gonna try to avoid that at all costs. Um, like I said, this just has to get them by until summer. So this is just something to do, and it should look really good, but I'll go ahead and get started doing this. One of the things that you need to remember is once you start, you, you don't stop. You have to continue through the whole thing because if you stop, then that area will be more dry than the other area, and that's how you get stripes. So we'll basically spray and just keep it going. Most people start in the center. I don't do that for a reason. It's just my technique. I start off at the side and I go this way. I don't go this way. So you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But I just wanted to let you know to keep this side wet, basically at all times. If you need to spray from the other side, you're gonna be spraying into already wet paint, so it helps a little. Always do a test fire to make sure it's spraying. done 
has a really high gloss finish. Um, looks really good. About $3.96 a can. He ended up doing the uh, grill in the color shift in the BMW emblem, so it looks pretty sweet. But uh, yeah, there's some little pieces in there, but it can be wet sanded and done. It's not a big deal. The uh, hood turned or roof turned out really good, just like a black mirror. But you can achieve anything if you just put your mind to it. We will be doing a different hood because this one has some dents and. This was just basically a temporary thing. Um, so we'll be painting a different hood and he'll be throwing it on because he has a parts car. So if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you think it's super glossy and it looks really good for spray can, hit the thumbs up and drop a comment and don't be a troll because no one likes trolls. See you in the next video.